What's happening everyone? It's Abdali here bringing you guys another awesome tips and tricks tutorial video for Animal Crossing New Horizons on Nintendo Switch. Today's video is showcasing you guys three different things. We're going to show you guys exactly how to get the two new reactions within the game. We're then going to show you guys how to change the coloration of your face so that you guys can match your Halloween costumes. And we're going to take it a step further and show you guys four secret custom facial patterns that don't take up a design slot. It's going to be super fun, so thanks so much for watching. If you guys did not already hit that subscribe button, please do so. It only takes one quick second and we're on the road to a million subscribers. Thanks to all of you 823,000 subscribers who have easily clicked that button for free. Now, if you guys have not already seen our playlist, We've got tons of tutorials, science, data, everything that you need to know about this brand new fall update, including a live stream where we went through five hours discovering it all, finding out how to make perfect pumpkins, and then of course, spooky item showcases and a guide to get you the most candy possible. So let's jump into it. Before starting the tutorial, I'd like to give a big shout out to our friends over at Manji for sponsoring today's video. If you're looking for a high quality yet soft to the touch Nintendo Switch case, Manji has you covered with their command shell. What I like most about this case is that it comes with comfortable straps in the back and added bulk to the Joy-Con controllers while playing in handheld mode. These unique straps provide a secure feeling that I know I'm not going to accidentally drop this. If you own more than one set of Joy-Con controllers, you can easily get additional covers for them separately on the site. And the command shell even comes with a specialized charging cable that allows for playing in tabletop mode while charging. So be sure to visit Mangistore.com to purchase your command shell for only $22.99, and it comes with a free charging cable and free shipping in the United States and United Kingdom. It honestly can't get any better than that. All right, well, let's start off with the reactions. And this balloon is bothering me. Every single one of my tutorials, there's always a balloon that floats by. But anyway, let's talk about the reactions. All right, so here we go. You've got two brand new reactions that you can get. It's called Scare. And then your character kind of holds the little zombie looking pose and then goes back to normal after a little bit. And then there's going to be the second reaction, which is going to be Haunt. Ooh, it's got some like digital effects in the first couple seconds of it, but afterwards, the character just kind of stays in this zombified state the entire time. And hi, Mary. I'm actually uh, just haunting right here. What happens if I scare you? I don't know, I've never tried to scare you before. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't have any candy for you. Anyway, so now let's talk about how exactly we're going to get these. Now, as soon as Halloween day comes on board in your game, so if you guys are traditional players, you're gonna have to wait until Halloween in order to get these. If you guys play on a more customized approach, then you guys can easily jump over to Halloween and then start talking to your villagers and start talking to Jack. They will instantly give you both of those reactions. Specifically, if you talk to one of your villagers for the very first time on Halloween and offer them a piece of candy, They'll give you something in return, and directly after that, they will give you the scare reaction. Now remember, scare reaction comes from your villagers. Now likewise, the moment that you give Jack a piece of candy for the very first time, he'll give you one of his items, as we've talked about in previous tutorial videos. But on top of that, he explains about lollipops and other candy items that he wants. But before he lets you go, he will absolutely give you the brand new reaction called Haunt. Whoa. But Jack does it way better because his eyes light up and that's so cool. Too bad you can't do that in the game. Okay, so let's talk about how you're going to change the coloration of your face within the game. It's super simple, and it's available as of right now at the time of recording. You don't have to wait until Halloween in order to do this. You could do this on October 1st, all the way through whenever. Uh, it's just part of the fall update. So all you have to do is head on over to the little machine over here in Resident Services, and then you'll be able to jump into it, log on like normal, and then you wanna go over to the one spot that is uh, Redeem Nook Miles. Now, once you log in over there, there's going to be two things that you can purchase, body paint costume tips, and exploring new eye colors. They are really, really inexpensive, and if you need more Nook Miles, then keep on grinding those Nook Miles achievements every day. So purchase those two brand new things, you'll absolutely learn them, and then once you do learn them, all you have to do is head on over home. So leave here, and then we're going to quick cut straight to home. All right, there we go. So now we're at home, 
and all you really need is a piece of furniture with a mirror on it. There's so many different varieties, but honestly, this little wooden mirror over here is something that the villagers actually give you on Halloween in case you didn't have one. So a wooden table mirror, all you have to do is go on here and then you already have all the additional skin colors unlocked. You can see over here that you've got white, you've got a green, you've got a blue, and you also have a purple. Not only that, but you have brand new colorations of your eyeballs too. So usually the eye colors are the, the top row over here. Now you've got even more. You can do like a neon pink, you can do an orange, you can do a yellow, you could do a purple or pink. Yeah, that's pink. Uh, you could do a gray or you can even do a green, which is really fun. So I like that a lot. I think it's really cool just to see this character kind of evolve into that. So change it however you want, make it match whatever Halloween costume you're doing and go from there. Super easy. So if you guys are curious on how to get one of the four secret facial pattern designs, all you have to do is head on over to one of your villagers or Jack and deny them candy. Yes, I know it sounds pretty mean, but that's kind of what you have to do. So trick or treat, whenever they ask, uh, all you have to do is play a trick. And then what they're going to do is they're going to get upset and then they're going to scratch at your face and then completely randomize your skin color your eye color and a facial pattern that's not in your custom designs, which is super fun. So taking a look at this right over here, we have Audie, uh, that just gave me a piece of furniture anyway, cause it's Halloween, sure, thank you. Um, so this is exactly what I was talking to you about. She'll give you the wooden table mirror and you can adjust that. But right over here, you'll be able to see that she randomized my face with the scratches and then purple eyes and purple face. So we're gonna see exactly what happens over here with Pudge. Now Pudge is gonna be easy. I'm gonna say, do your worst. But I'm gonna deny him all the candy and then he's going to scratch that up. So as you can see over here, I do have some different colorations and this is what we wanna call the second face, which is gonna be the grandpa face. I think it looks honestly hilarious. So we've seen the scars all across, which was face number one. Here's face number two, which is grandpa. And then we're gonna go say hi to Raymond. Uh, Raymond's over here. He wants that big candy, but uh, we're not going to give him any candy. Sorry, buddy. We want the cool faces. We want the secret faces. And it's random. It's random what happens. So as you can see over here, we got scars again. So scars is not exactly what we want, but this actually looks pretty cool with the red eyes. Are you crazy? And the pale white skin? This is kind of my zombie outfit that I wanted. So thank you, Raymond. You fit me up perfectly. All right, so let's go find two more specific hidden little uh, little faces over here. And I'll show you guys exactly what those look like. And here we go. This is the third one. So instead of talking to the villagers, I went over to Jack. It's a lot easier if you just talk to Jack over and over again. So Jack now gives me something I want to call the patches design. So this right over here is the patches. So you've got like these little splotches. It kind of looks like you're, I don't know, made out of a scarecrow or maybe those are like growths. I don't even know. Let's like whatever you want to call it. That's the third design. And uh, now we're going to show you guys the fourth one. Okay, here we go. The final pattern. It took a couple tries, but it's all random based off of, I don't know, numbers in the game. So you can see over here that this is going to be your final design and it's actually cute. It's like something that you would paint on like a kid. You'd paint a little bat right over here. You paint a little pumpkin over here. So this looks really cute. So as you can see, those are the four secret designs that you can get. Now the beauty about the secret designs is that they will stay on you indefinitely. Meaning that as you can see from here, your custom designs, if you have all 40 of your slots pretty much done and over with, that's considered a custom design on you. So right now we're gonna jump straight over to the mirror and I'll show you guys exactly what I mean by that. Okay, here we are. So now that we are at this mirror, we can see that I have my little pumpkin face over here and that means that we have like the 41st <laughs> custom design slot. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, so anyway, uh, you can see that the face paint is on there, right? It's done. Now you can go on none and take it off or you can go to custom design and literally put anything on your face. Like you could put my face on your face. But the moment that you do that, you're going to remove that face. So right here, if you wanna keep it, go for it. Now all you have to do is just change whatever eyes and change whatever, um, yeah, that's it. Just eyes and your facial color and then you're all set. Oh no, definitely not hair. I'm sorry, no way. No, we need eyes. We need some of those red eyes, dude. Those red eyes were good. 
Yeah, perfect. So now I look like a happy pumpkin. Ooh, <laughs> I look like a happy pumpkin zombie, right? Like he's a little, he's like a little kid that went to a, like a Halloween party and then just went over there. So this is good. So it's the 41st design, as you can see, doesn't take up a design slot and you can wear it year round. Pretty cute, huh? Of course, I think my favorite out of the four secret ones is the scars. I think the scars look really good and I can't wait. So here's what's gonna be happening on our next tutorial video. I'm gonna go around and we are gonna show you guys all of the best custom designs that you could put on your face to make the best Halloween costumes. It's gonna be so good. Make sure you guys look forward to it very, very soon. But that's gonna be it for our tutorial today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you guys share the video with your friends so that they know about the reactions and all of these little things that you may not have noticed. Now, I've noticed a lot of you guys asking about how do you get the reactions, how do you get all these custom colorations of your skin, and how do you get the cool facial scars? So that's the reason why I made this video for you because a lot of you guys give that feedback on the comments of all my videos and I read every single single one of your comments. Trust me, you can scroll through. Anyway, make sure that you guys pick up one of those Manji cases from ManjiStore.com. It's going to be a great investment for your Nintendo Switch. And you guys are great. Thanks so much for being here. You guys are on board with hitting that subscribe button, helping us grow, and of course, becoming members as well. Thank you guys. We'll see you on the next tutorial. Take care.